Greetings, adventure seekers. The path opens in a few moments, but first, let's learn what company we keep. In the second level, our dungeoneer of the cup is Ben Dreyer. Three friends from Salisbury are his guides. They have no one in company, but possess powdered darkness and a crimson key. Their task in this level is to search for the hidden letters to a mighty spell. So far, they have found the letter C. But look, time turns, the path is open, and the greater game returns. Okay, now walk forwards. Forwards, fast. Keep going. Fast. Uh, OK, Ben, you're in a room with a stew stop, a chest, and two exits. Could you see what's on top of the chest, please? Uh, walk forwards. Can you see it and stop? Yep. OK, can you see uh, some sort of white object? It's letter. Right, pick it up and put it in the okay, bag. Pick it up and put it in the bag, yeah. And okay, then... So that eye in the top corner. There's a voice. There's somebody in the chest, obviously. Yep, yep. unlock the chest. Use the key. Well, I think the key might be magic. Well, it seems to okay, work. OK, right. Oh, and then hurry up. up. Yeah. I'd be right. grateful for they've let me out there, that's for certain. Explain who you are. Ben. What's your name then? Ben. Ben. I'm Marta. Generally cooking, cleaning and serving is what I does. I was just serving that dirty little toe rag, Sylvester Hans, and he whips out a rope, slips it over my head and I wake up in a box. Dirty little toe rag didn't pay his charge either. I don't know, dungeon's not like it used to be. It's not a safe place for a mate no more. Anyway, Ben. I'd be open to thee. What would he like to know? Um, well, I'm after a cup. So have you got any information about that? A cup? We don't know. What sort of cup's that, then? Ask her which is the best way to go on. Yeah. Right, which is the best way to go on? To go on? Yeah. Where do you want to get to, then? Mm. What? Level what? three. Yeah, yeah, level three. Oh, level three. <laughs> you need the back door, it's what you need. Right. Then again, it's locked. No, you need some other sort of device to get you through to level three. Like magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy. But there is one yeah. way I can help you, Ben. How's that? I know the combination path to the death of spears. <laughs> uh, would you care to tell me? I don't know, because I think I need troll steps, actually. OK. Mm. Oh, all right, then. All right. Just remember, it's one forward, one right. One forward, five left. One forward, six right. One forward, one right, one forward, four left. We near that troll. We better get going. Come on, Ben. Did you get that? yeah. That's your path Did you up get there. It all? Yeah. And that's okay. mine. Okay. Good luck. Hey, ben, walk yeah. forward, side step to your right, and walk forwards. Hey, ben, you're in a large hall with two stalls and two exits out of there. Um. Okay. Funny, there is no spell part in this room. Why not in this room? I don't know. But I do know we haven't shaken off that troll yet, so there's not a lot of time to find out why. Ben, try sitting on one of the stools. Okey dokey. Sit on the right stool. Guiding him. OK, can you see it? Yeah. Right, sit on it. Okay. Has it got anything written on it? Mm, what, underneath it or what? Mm. Shall I try the other one? Yep, yeah, try the other one. Is there anything on it? No. Right. Hurry up. Uh, let's go. Oh, you're going? Come on. Should we go? Yeah. It comes. Yeah. It comes. Okay, we better go. Okay. Um, Side step to your right. Right. Until I tell you to stop. Right. Walk, Walk forwards. Forward. Okay, we're okay, looking for the eye shield. shield. Just gone past one door. And it looks like you're going through another. You're in a large room, and somebody's off to your right, holding, uh, looks like they're fishing in a barrel. Um, could you go over and talk to them? Let's so walk forwards. Can you see them? Uh, yep. OK. Explain who you are. Um, I'm a dungeoneer, and I'm after a cup. Oh, it's a dungeoneer after a cup. Ah, no, it's not a dungeoneer, and you're not after a cup, cos it's, it's me day off, and I don't have to worry about cups or dungeoneers or, or quests or anything, so... Push off, will ya? Do you want anything? And tell us. Yeah. Uh, what? A bit of peace and quiet. Can't you read? Look, lost nothing. 
What does it say? Can you read? Mm. You want to write that down? F R O. Oh. Duh. Get at me, like, go on. Oh, Have yeah. a look oh, okay. under the barrel he's sitting on. Okay. Can you see it? Explain what you're doing. Yeah, yeah which might be a corner of a letter or something. Go on, push off! Uh, I want to look for termites under the barrel. What? <laughs> Just want to have a look under the barrel. What for? Uh, termites. What, what are they then? They eat wood. Eat wood? Yeah. I don't believe you. Look, it's me day off. Give me a rest, will you? I'll get one day off in... Well, it's the first day I've ever had off. <laughs> well, Lord's fear. He's ever... You like him. He's a, he's a nice bloke. He, he's given me this day off and... Well, I'm, I'm fishing and I so do me a favour, will you? Push off! <laughs> oh, dear. Fishing. Come on, fishy. Right. What is it? Well, there's clues everywhere, so... It's... Oh, what is it that... There's, there's nothing in the barrel. No, yeah, under it. Under his barrel that he's sitting on. Yeah, something. Right. Where? Yeah, no, so around... He's poking out under the edge. That white thing? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know you're a bit of a pest? <laughs> Do you know what a pest is? A pest, yes. I'm trying to fish and you're blocking the light. There is a fish in here, I know there is. I was told by Grim, Grimmel, Grimmel, the greeny one. You know, you, uh, nice, nice, nice man, Grimmel, Grimmel. I can't remember his name. But, yeah, fish, he said. Fish, yeah, like, it's fish. Yes. It's OK, yeah. so we've got to get him off the barrel. I think it's a D. <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, ben, see if you can ask him to move. Tell him there's something in some of other part of the room. Um, How about saying there's a fish in the barrel that he's sitting on? Hey. Oh, that's a what? good idea. Yeah. I think I can hear a fish in the barrel you're sitting on. Oh, you think you can hear a fish in the barrel that I'm sitting on? Oh, well, that's me day off. Oh, dear. Do you know, I was having a quiet time till you come along. Well, look, you do me a favour, right? Yeah. You stand right there. Right there where you are. Don't move that foot or that foot. You stand. And I'm going to go off and get me magic rope and I'm going to take you to meet me friend, Lord Fear. He's ever so nice, got a big palace. And, well, you stay there, don't you move. And if you find that fish, it belongs to me, right? Yeah. OK, right, where do I go? Yeah. OK, can you move the barrel, then? <laughs> move the barrel slightly. OK, well, I think, we think there's a letter under it. Um, right, move it a bit more. Keep, keep moving it. Keep moving it. Keep moving it. Okay. It's a D. Right, it's a D. OK, right. Sure it's a D? Yeah, I think he ought to move now. That's DD. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Keep moving. Right, walk forward, Ben. Right, stop. OK, we're looking through the eye shield. Right. Come on. You're, coming You're up going to towards door. the door. <laughs> OK, Ben, could you stop, please? OK, we're in what appears to be the Hall of Spears. And, um, looks like we're going to have to get you across. So, um... We got there. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Um, is there a place? Yeah, there's, there's, no, a, there's a safe there's a break, path, isn't it? team, and you have the combination. Yeah. Just okay, get Ben to the start. The rest is up to you. But ben. you must do it quickly. Yeah, sidestep to your right, please. And again. No. Take it back a bit, actually. A uh, little bit more. Okay, now walk forwards. And again. Right, okay. one right. Go to your right. And again. And again. Okay. Right, one forward. <sighs> and five right to your, your left. left. Fine. Okay. That's one. Carry on going. Two. And again. Keep going. And again. Keep going. Five. Right, one forward. Six right. Come on. Keep going. Keep sidestepping to your right. Just keep going. Three, What's next? Four, five, six. Too slow. Too slow. Harry, this is much too slow. Stop. Stop. One forward. Um, One forward. One forward. Swift and merciful end, boys. For without using the darkness powder, you could not complete the spell you needed to get to the end of level two. However, there's another way. Farewell. 
All right, come on. What's going to happen next? Oh, figure it out for yourself. Hm. Don't think I haven't done this before. Enter, stranger. <laughs> This is number six, huh? This is our sixth chance to beat them. Not much of a chance with this oh, one, I think. Really? Sorry. Just ignore her, please, and tell us your name. Julie Connell. Well, Julie, now some friends and allies. You'll need them, so call them. Helen, Sam, Helen. I told you, not much chance with these ones, I think. Enough. But may I remind you, our purpose here is to help these young people, not scare them out of their wits. <laughs> this is Majida. I think you know who I am, but I should like to know who you are. I'm Helen Flynn. I'm Samantha Vern. I'm Helen Gorman. And where do you come from? Leek in Staffordshire. All right, let's get Julie upon the path. <laughs> now, this is the knapsack for food to fuel your efforts. And this the shield, to show you the path that otherwise you wouldn't see. And finally, the helmet. All right. There we are. I'm afraid you can't see much with the visor down, so your friends will have to guide you. Now, your quest is for the sword. Seek it. Find it and return it to us. So, step forward and good luck. Julie, you're in some tunnels. Right. Don't to keep walking forward. Yeah, keep walking yeah. forward. I tell you, even dwarfs, they don't like these tunnels. When is the last time you saw a dwarf in here? Shh, Stop. please. This may Turn be the right. one. Turn right. Walk forward. Me. What? Is it? Hello? If you are a traveller, know that I mean you no harm. But if you are one of the opposition, know that though I carry no weapons, I am far from powerless. Now, which are you? Ask what side he's on. What side are you on? My side. My side, I am unaligned. I am a brother. And you? Tell him you're not on Lord Fear's side. I'm not on Lord Fear's side. You are not on the side of fear. Well, that would make you a Dungeoneer. Yes? Yes. Your quest, Dungeoneer. I'm looking for the sword. The sword. Only the bravest quest for the sword. Well, Dungeoneer, I come fresh from the town of Warlock, which is in that area of level one known as Grimdale. It is a fair country, but it lies within dungeon dimensions. My only advice to you is seek the apothecary, but do not go empty-handed. Now, my path lies this way. Fair Thank chance you. to you. Thank you. Right, walk forward, Julie. Stop, turn right. Keep walking forward. There's a portal in front of you. Just keep walking. Sorry. Okay, Julie, you seem to be in a town. Right. So, do you want to go mm. talk to somebody? Yeah, tell and us to go a, forward. Julie, there's a barrow near your left, so can you walk forward for me? Yeah. Uh-oh, oh, we've got listen, problems. Listen, goblins, run! <laughs> walk right, Julie, right. walk forward. Panic. There's no danger from goblins in a place like this. Grimdale is an official sanctuary, which means that folk from the dungeons and other places are allowed in here to trade, so long as they show no aggression. Mm. There's an awful lot of spying, but not too much danger. So how about pukas? Are they friendly? Oh, don't be silly. You can't sign a peace treaty with a puka. Oh, carry on, girls. Right. So we'll make for the um, cart or something. OK, so right. walk forward. Yeah. Yeah. Keep walking forward. 
Well, no, side step to your left. Can you see it? Yeah. Right, what can you tell us what's on it? Um, there's a sort of sack. Yeah. Um, some bread. I'll take the bread straight away. That's it. And then there's a jug and a spyglass. Oh. Right. Right, shall we put the spyglass up to the eye shield, Julie, do you think? Yeah, I think so. OK. Yeah. Right. Is it safe? Yes, Miss Art. It's just sulking, that's all. Won't talk, won't go hunting until I tell it when its birthday is. I don't know, monsters. You can keep them. Give me a good trial any day. They don't give you any lip. Now, what's this cunning plan you're on about? Oh, yes, Lord. <laughs> the dragonness, the great wormness that frustrates our attempts to seal off the level. It has a wardress, a helper, Lordness. Oh, yes, I know the one you mean. Uh, Romana or something. All long legs and short temper. Yes, I like a girl with spirit. It's great fun breaking it. So? This is the cunningness, the obliqueness, yes. Instead of the dragonness, we trap. The wardress. When she is prisoner, we use her to trap the dragons. Oh, yes. Yes, I like it. Now, who can we send? Uh, it can't be Hans. He's already had a tussle with her and he blew it. It's no good sending super soak here. If the wind changes, you'll stay like that, you know. <laughs> uh, no good sending a troll. They're too stupid. Uh, goblins, now they tend to eat prisoners. I know. We'll send the brigand. Rapture, Lordness. Yeah, about time he earned his ship's biscuit. Anyway, pirates are always making off with maidens. It should be second nature to him. Now go and tell him. But when you're instructing him, don't mention black cats crossing his path, going under ladders, broken mirrors, anything like that. I don't understand, Lord. Well, he's superstitious, you idiot reptile. No, I mean, he's, he's as bold as a lion. He just can't stand black cats crossing his path. Now, go on. Get on with it. Get him into level one. And get him to nab that girl. Okay, Julie, you want to put it down now? Quickly. Yeah. Sure. Turn the right. on. Uh, All right. Keep your hands where I can see them while we sort this out. We've had reports of someone robbing stall holders. And if that's you underneath that helmet, Sylvester Hans, this time you're for the human pincushion. Tell me not bad enough, Hans. Who are you? I'm a dungeoneer. Oh, dungeoneer. Well, dungeoneer, I am Romana of the Air One. That means I'm a dragon warden. Dragons are my business. What's yours? I'm on the quest to find the sword. Ah. Julie, do you think we ought to tell about Lord Fear's plan? Um, OK, what shall I say? Well, Just I think... tell that Lord Fear is planning to kidnap her um, to stop you getting onto the next level. I've heard that Lord Fear is planning to kidnap you. Me? Yeah, he think, tell her he thinks he can get the dragons if he kidnaps her. He thinks he can get the dragons if oh. you're kidnapped. Does he indeed? Well, that's timely warning and well given. And who's going to capture me? A brigand. The brigand. The brigand. Hmm. Right, well, Dungeoneer, one piece of advice deserves another. Who are you looking for in this place? We're looking for the apocryphy. Oh, the apothecary. Apoth 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 um, well, I'm looking for the. I'm looking for the apocryphy. Do you mean Rothbury the apothecary? Yeah. Yes. All oh, right. Yes, he has a stall just outside of town. That's because he's an alchemist as well as an apothecary, and the town fathers can't abide explosions. <laughs> Now then, if you follow the path in that direction, you'll come to his stall. Farewell, Dungeoneer, and good luck to you. Thank you. Right, Julie, <coughs> uh, do you think we ought to take anything else from the stall? We've, I mean, she did say that she thought we were stealing, so I don't think we ought to take... OK, well, we'll go. OK, so sidestep to your right a little. Right, um, and walk forward. Well, side, uh, turn to your left. So walk forward now. Little to your right, little to your right. Uh oh, walk go on. quickly. Walk quickly, Hurry quickly. Up. You've got goblins behind you. Okay, Julie. Mm. 
you're out in the open, there appears to be some sort of building in front of you, and there's a barrel just in front with something on. So if you want right. to walk side forward. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and then sidestep to your left. And again. Oh, I can see it. Right. Okay. What's can you tell us what's on it? Um, there's a bottle mm -hmm. yep. saying catnip on it. Right. Mm -hmm. A jewel yeah. and a bar of gold. Right. And a scroll. scroll so. Yeah, can you scroll? Open scroll. Can you see it? I got yep. news flash. Ramona captured by Raptor. Dragon Girl doomed. Mm. Oh dear. Sure. It doesn't sound good. Okay, you want to put that down. Yeah. Right. Shall we take the gold? Because we think yeah. we've got to pay yeah. this alchemist yeah. person. And if, and he's, if he's an alchemist, what about the catnip? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Some kind of herbs. What do you yeah. think, Julie? I think we ought to take this. So. Yeah, okay then. Yeah, gold right. and the catnip then. Right. It looks like okay. there's a portal in that place there. Right. Oh, Side step to your right. And again. And now walk forward. So just turn a little to your left. That's it. Harry, Quick. Harry. Harry, the woods are haunted by pookers. That's it. <laughs> OK, Julie, I think we've reached this store. There's a man in front of you with a store. If you just want to walk forward a bit. Yeah, just get your people OK, stop. Well, um, uh, step back, move backwards. It looks as if something's going to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, just with you in a moment. Um, <laughs> there we are. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> found him. <laughs> uh, Rothbury, uh, the, uh, do you know who I am at all? Um, you, um, are you the alchemist? That's very good, but I'm also an apothecary. Who are you? I'm a dungeoneer. Right. Do you know any other apothecaries? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> well, I'm the first then. Um, um, what's your name, Ruby? I'm hmm? Julie. Julie, is it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, don't get too near the, um... Whatever it was. <laughs> so, how can I help you then? Um, you I was told that you could perhaps help me. Well, yes, yes um, I can help you, yes, which is why I said, how can I... Um... <laughs> I'm on a quest to find the sword. Oh, that's nice. I don't have anything to do with swords myself. <laughs> can I help at all and, in any uh, other way? At all? Um, perhaps you could help me get off you know level you need. one. You know what you need, love. You know what you need, don't you? A You've got a bucket head? on your head. What you need, love. <laughs> what you need is a couple of holes in that bucket. <laughs> but I can't help you there either. Well, I'll tell you what I do. I could give you a potion of true sight. Would that be all right to see through? Would that be good? Um, what's that? I don't, I don't know. know. Could Ask you if you've got that? anything that could help us get off the level. Could you tell me anything that could help me get off the level? <clears throat> no. <laughs> well, in that case, well, you'd better take the person. Person. Well, I could, but actually, it's just blown up. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, right. that right. one's gone, isn't it? <laughs> um, what else can we do? Um, Ask him if he knows anything about Ramona. Or, what was her name? Is it a uh, raptor? No. <laughs> oh, well. I'll speak to him. <laughs> Oh, tell ask him what the potion, the potion of true sight then? does? Yeah. 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 Then what does the potion of true sight do? Blows up, lovey. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what I could do. Yeah. If I had any. Uh, I think I've got some, anyway. Um, uh, some insight. It, it, it's a bit like the potion of true sight, and I, I used to have some <laughs> here. Uh, would that be any good to you? Time out. Oh, but how time turns the most inconvenient point. And the inside powder. They will take it, and then Julie will be able to see, yes, and then... Yes, yes, yes. More seeing into the future? Well, I can predict one thing for certain. If you don't step back when the path closes, the door's gonna take your nose off. What's wrong with my nose?